Well, I can tell you that, you know, I always have these journeys. <laughs> and one of my worst journeys that I've taken in this sport is trying to figure out how to shoot video through my scope. And I'm telling you what, I've spent a lot of money and I've sent a lot of stuff back. But I think I finally found the right solution. And as usual, it's not cheap, but it's really, really good. Hi everyone, it's a four gun guy. And today I wanna to talk to you about the Trigger Cam 2.1. Uh, this is not sent to me, I paid my own money for this. Uh, but let's talk about the journey I took to get this thing and how I ended up on it. Uh, let's get some, let, let's talk about why I'm, I was obsessed with getting something to shoot good video through my scope with. Then let's take some, some looks through it. Uh, I've already done some videos using it and I'll do snippets of those so you can see exactly how it's uh, set up and how I set it up with then taking external video of, of me moving positions, but then you can still see the shots. And then we'll have some final thoughts. So if you're ready to go, let's get to it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get your rifle, you're going to get your scope, you're going to go to the range, and you're going to say, man, I wish I could get some video of, of me ringing the steel at 500 yards. And so you're going to go on to Amazon. And when you go on to Amazon, you're going to find this piece of junk. And it's a little, you know, it's, it's, it's for your phone, and it's going to screw on, and it's got some things, some grips that tighten down on your scope. And you're going to go to the range and you're going to put this on your scope and you're going to pull the trigger on that 6.5 Creedmoor and this thing's going to come flying off along with your phone. Or you're going to spend 20 minutes getting your phone camera lined up with this little bitty hole back here so you don't get a half a picture, right? So there's that. Then you're going to spend the money and you're going to go to something like this Nova grade phone holder which is excellent. It is an excellent phone holder. The best I've used, the best I've, I've had. It's not cheap. I want to say this is 130 bucks or something like that. But if you want something that you're going to be able to set your phone in once, set it all up, and then the next time you set your phone in, it's lined up with this hole and you're ready to go. And it comes with a bunch of different inserts here that can match most any scope or spotting scope, then this is a great way to go. This is the Nova grade. Uh, I'll put this up there somewhere. And this really works well. You're going to run into the same issue though with your rifle, right? If you're shooting anything with any kind of recoil, it's going to be a pain in the neck. Also, you've got to realize you're going to be shooting, you're going to be taking the video. So you're actually like back here, seeing if you're on target and shooting it. So in a match situation or practice, this doesn't make much sense. Then you've got, and I don't have this because I sent it back, you've got the Tacticam. Now the Tacticam, uh, when I bought it, was a good option and I was really excited to use it. But I think I said in one of these other videos, I got it out of the box, I tried to turn it on, it wouldn't turn on, I tried everything in the book, nothing happened, uh, and I put it in the box 10 minutes later and I sent it back never to be ordered or used again. That was just my experience. I wish it had been better, but it wasn't. So, enter the trigger cam. <laughs> I've seen some guys shooting video. I was asking them what they were using. Some of them were very tight-lipped about this thing. I don't know why, right? Why wouldn't you share what you're using? But they were. And finally, one of them said, I use the trigger cam. I said, all right. So I looked it up. Uh, yeah, when you, when you first go on their website, they're a South African company. So when you go on their website, you're going to see this price. It's going to say 8,800 and blah, 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 blah. But that's in, what, Krugerrands or something like that. That equates to about 530 bucks. So that's what this thing costs. As I said, it's not cheap. 
uh, but it sure does the job. And now let's talk about why I was really obsessed with getting one of these things. Well, like all of us, I want to do better at, at the sport I've taken up, right? Um, if I'm golfing, you know, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to buy some, some aids to lay on the ground to make sure my swing is parallel. As I come through the ball, I might do something else. I might do video to see how is my swing? Am I on plane? Am I coming over the top? Which I do. And that's why I slice. But anyway, I want to get the right tools to help me hone my sport. That was why I wanted to really find something that I could hook up to my scope and not, and it not be a toy. I didn't want to just shoot video to shoot video to do these videos. I wanted to shoot video to come back to the, to the house, sit down and analyze what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. And a, you can take a lot from that as we're going to see in the videos. You can take a lot from that when you really watch yourself. So if I can video myself run through a stage and see the physical part of it, of how I'm positioning, where I'm setting my bag, am I setting up properly? But then also start to see how fast am I getting on target? How fast am I really calming down on the target? How fast is my second, is my follow-up shot? Because in PRS, we're generally shooting two shots per position. How fast am I uh, getting in, you know, getting that second shot off? And is it accurate? Or am I just hurrying, which I do? Uh, you know, how fast am I when I move from stage to stage? If I'm moving from a set of pipes to a rooftop, how fast am I then coming down and getting back on that target? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna rerun a, a stage, it's only two minutes, but I'm gonna rerun it so you can see what I was thinking uh, as, I, as I shot it. So that's really why I got this thing. Um, the other thing was I wanted it to be clear and crisp. I wanted the image, the picture, and everything to be clear and crisp. And finally, the most important thing was and I'm just using one of my real old crummy little scopes. I didn't want to have to be here, right? <laughs> I wanted to be more here, as close to the scope as I can be in a real life shooting situation. And I will tell you that with the Tacticam, it came out about this far. It was, it was very far out there. With the trigger cam, it's closer in, as you'll see here in a minute. So those are the reasons why I kind of became obsessed with this. And then, of course, it just becomes a, something that, you know what, darn it, I'm going to figure this out and I'm going to get what, what works. And so you just keep going after it. But with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at just what comes in the box real quickly. And I'm going to go over some of the features. Uh, and then we'll take it out to the range and you'll, you'll see, uh, see how it actually works. All right, well, I know it's kind of glary here, but basically, look, it just comes in a nice box. It's got a basic start guide here with good instruction, colored instructions, which is nice. Lens cloth. It comes with a tool, which is very handy because the way you have to adjust this thing is with a with a little uh, screw there that, that goes in to uh, adjust the tension. And then the thing I love about it is it comes with these seven different sleeves, actually eight different sleeves that you can use to adjust for whatever size scope you're going to use it with. Now, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, the largest scope that so far I've been able to use it on is my zero compromise. So there's the unboxing. Uh, material is very good. It's very well built. I could I almost feel I could throw this up against a brick wall and it would it would be fine. But what I want you to notice is what I was talking about earlier and that is this is just clear glass. And then what happens as you put it on your scope, your scope is coming all the way up to about there. 
right? So theoretically, this is the this is about the most distance that this comes off your scope. Now this scope is odd because it has this uh, uh, reticle adjustment there, but theoretically it would be right about there on the scope. So that's not much off your normal eye relief. Uh, so I, that's what I like about this a lot. Let's go ahead now and talk about just some of the functionality here. Really easy operation, guys. I hold this button down, it powers up. When I'm ready to shoot video, I can either hook it up to my phone and operate it through that, but I don't really care for it because the Bluetooth lag's a little weird with this. So then I just push this, and now I'm recording. The blue light says I'm recording. It has full sound. The sound's pretty good. It's a little tinny, but it's still good and it picks up a lot. And then I just hit that off, I've stopped recording, and then we're done. Turn it off, I hold this button down, and we're good. Now I'm off. Really simple, I love it. It's two buttons, how much easier can you get? Now, the other thing I wanna show you here is that, and it comes with that tool, but I'm just gonna use a screwdriver here. Uh, it comes with, it's got an HDMI uh, input or output, it's got a little SD card that it came with, by the way. So it comes with a little card, mini SD. It's got a C, USB-C adapter that you charge it with. Another thing I love about this thing is that it is a rechargeable battery. So I'm not constantly shoving triple A's or double A's in here. It's rechargeable. It'll last about two and a half hours on a charge uh, taking video and I think it's got a 10 hour standby time. Now let's get to the challenging part of this thing. And the challenging part of this thing is gonna be right here in just a second when I show you something. Very challenging. Don't expect to get this, pull it out of the box and just start shooting video. You see this little wheel right here? Can you see that? Yeah, that's the focus wheel. And this thing is like a pain in your butt, okay? You're going to take this out, you're going to slap it on your scope, you're going to shoot video, and everything's going to be blurry. So you're going to be sitting there, and you have to adjust this to focus properly and work with your scope. So before you do anything, spend some time doing that. And this is where you're going to use the Bluetooth functionality with your phone, because it's got a phone app. It'll sync right up with the uh, uh, Wi-Fi, actually, not Bluetooth, with Wi-Fi. And then uh, once you get that all hammered out, um, yeah, you'll be fine. Then you can hook it up to your, uh, to your um, uh, scope, and you're going to be good to go. So just a couple other things here. Let's see. We are... Uh, it, it comes with image stabilization technology, and I think I've seen this in action. When you start to see me uh, shoot, when I run through the stages, you'll see that it's, it's a lot calmer than I am. It's still jittery, but it's a lot better than it, uh, than it would have been without this. Um, I can capture video or stills. It's got digital zoom, which honestly I don't use because I'm using the zoom on my scope. Uh, it's got high uh, 4K video capability, as I said earlier, Wi-Fi connectivity. And it also does have live streaming. So you can stream, stream live from this thing. Okay, let's take a look at this. Now, this is my Zico. I told you about that earlier. Now, here's the deal. I want you to notice that the Zero Compromise Zoom has a throw switch on it. <laughs> okay? So if you have a throw switch on your scope, you're going to want to pay attention to this part. Here's the thing. If I was going to shoot this in a match, I would most likely set my zoom at probably 13 to 14 power. Well, look, that's not going to go on there. Hold on, let me. That's not going to go on there. You see it's interfering with that throw switch right there, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to take this whole unit and my, now here's another thing. My focus, diopter focus here 
locks. If you have a diopter that does not lock and you start doing what I just did, you're going to set your scope out of focus. So what I do is I come in here, I put it on like this because I'm never going to go down to eight or six, but I may go up to 20, 27 power just to check uh, the target. So I generally just put this thing at a 90 degree angle and there you are there. Let's see. Now the trick to this is what? Well, I just did that and now I have to come under here, but that's why this tool is so handy. They thought of a lot of things here, guys. They thought of the fact that if you have to turn it 90 degrees, we're going to make the tool long enough so you can just adjust it. Really, really nice. Also, if you notice, this tool has the flat end here that goes into these covers. So you can unscrew them with that. But now here's the setup, right? Very nice setup. And now it's just at 90 degrees. Remember what I told you? Really, there's only this much of the trigger cam that's sticking out. So now if I get down on this, turn my hat around. If I get down on this, I'm still right here. The, everything's in, in focus. Everything is in view. This is no different than if I had gotten behind the, the scope. Behind the scope, I would have been up a little bit for field of view, but I'm fine right here. So there you go. I just wanted to point those things out to you. You know, and let you know that there are some considerations you're going to have to make when you hook this thing up. Um, now, you're probably asking, well, then what do you do? Because that thing's going to be on its side. I straighten everything up in post-production. So in post-production, I'm turning the trigger cam video 90 degrees, and it's turning my reticle then 90 degrees. So everything straightens up. And that's, that's just how it works. So I just wanted to show you how you hooked it up, how it operated, you know, uh, short with a short uh, instruction there. And now let's go out and really see this thing in operation. Okay, we're going to shoot this car off of five positions on five black pipes. And we're going to go from front to back. So let's go. Two shots. This target in the window is left impact. Target in the back here. Impact. Impact. Down. Impact. Just back the car. Impact, little squirrel. Impact. All right, I think we got an eight on that. Not bad. Ready? Gun. Packs come down here, down on the target. A little more time than I wanted. Tripod, bipod, put that up there. Bring this down here, this up here. I'm on the target. This goes here, this retracts. This bag creates a knuckle, rifle, rear bag, target. Stay down, this bag comes over. On the target. There you go. Woo!
lot of moving. <laughs> I think I cleaned it. Okay, so we're going to go to the 800. Joseph is saying 6.3 elevation and about a mil of wind. So let's give it a mil of wind. I'll put the mill on the right hand, on the hand side. Not enough wind. A little more wind because there's usually a little more wind out here. So let's put mill in the center. There you go. Impact is right there. And that is perfect elevation. Perfect. Well, there you have it. Uh, I really like this Trigger Cam 2.1. I did buy this with my own money, so it wasn't sent to me or anything like that. Uh, I have to say, I think I'm going to get a lot of benefit out of re reviewing my shooting. I haven't used this in a match yet. I'm waiting for the right kind of match and the right stage to use this in. And I'll probably start with it on this 22 because there's no recoil, uh, probably a stage with minimal movement. Uh, and we'll see how that turns out. I hope you enjoyed the videos I put with this. Uh, as you can see, you can really use it for training purposes, and I think it's going to work out well. Is it worth the money? Uh, I would say yes, it is. If you're serious about what you want to get out of this sport and serious about how you look at how you practice. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's worth the money. So, Trigger Cam 2.1, love it. Hey, I've got some other stuff coming up. I've got a powder video that compares some powders for my 6BRA. I've got a wind video I'm working on. I've also got a, an environment uh, video that's going to talk about the different devices that are available uh, to use for your environmentals uh, to practice with and during a match. And then I've got some other stuff, including one of a new pair of binoculars that my wife got me for my birthday. It may already be out. Maybe it's not. But uh, it's pretty spectacular. So I just wanted to say thank you again to everyone for watching, subscribing, liking, the comments. Great to have all the comments and to react to those. And until next time, shoot straight.